If you have decided to live your life for Christ, there came a point where you learned about Jesus and the Gospel. This either came through you picking up the Bible and reading it yourself, or having someone teach you what the Bible says, but almost always a combination of both. Now that person who taught you had a similar experience, and so did the person before, and so on and so forth. The question is, where did the commandment to teach the lost about Christ come from? It came from Christ himself. Let's turn to what is commonly referred to as the Great Commission. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. It is a command given to teach all nations, which means you have a responsibility to get out there every chance you get and give people the soul-saving information Christ commissioned you to give. This doesn't only apply to ministers, missionaries, and those who have been selected by respected individuals of society. It means you should be out there doing it yourself. Now, this doesn't just come in preaching the gospel of salvation to the lost, as the Bible contains other commandments as well that should be on the heart of everyone that professes Christ. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 all scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. If you are living for Christ, you are also commanded to study and rightly divide the word of truth, as specifically found in the authorized version. This is so you might be perfect and approved unto God as not so is displeasing him. Let's see what else the Bible says about studying and teaching scripture. Hebrews 5 verses 11 to 14 For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. The writer of Hebrews, as inspired through the Holy Spirit, shows that at some point there are those who have ought to be teachers yet are not. If you have been a pew warmer your whole life and have never had the urge to actually learn the scriptures thoroughly or teach doctrine at some point, this should be a wake-up call. James 3 verse 1 shows that those who are considered masters will fall under greater condemnation, but as we read in Hebrews, there comes a time when you should be teaching and not just receiving the basics over and over again. This might come from the comfort of church buildings and expecting someone to spoon feed you once a week. But at what point is your passiveness costing others around you from hearing the word in your own life? This would also come from not believing multiple versions of the Bible isn't a problem and not sticking to one that you know has authority, i.e. King James Bible, which if you have issues understanding, find a dictionary and learn something new. If this message has reached you, it's time to redeem the time and start studying today.